today's video, we're going to be going over how to get this super easy, super insane shake transition. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you have your two clips is create an adjustment layer. For any shake, I would recommend using the plugin Sapphire with Sapphire Shake. It's one of the most goaded shakes in editing, period. You want to click on motion blur, click the stopwatch for amplitude. You're going to go a few frames back and take it down to about... 490 go a couple frames after the transition and bring it down as well you're then going to go into your keyframes right click them and easy ease them you're then going to select the keyframes in the graph editor and then just tweak the curve the way that i'm going to do it try not to make things too tight after you're done your graph should sort of look like this the next thing i'm going to add is sapphire flicker at the transition point, keyframe the amplitude, turn it up. I'm going to turn it up to about 114. Go back a few frames, turn it down to zero. Go to the other end a few frames after the transition and also turn it down to zero. With the flicker keyframes, you're also going to easy ease them as well and then go into the graph editor as well. And then again, just sort of doing that shape but sort of in reverse. Again, trying to make it not too tight. Now that transition already is super fire, but if you want it to be a little bit more punchier, what I would do is get exposure, drag it onto the adjustment layer. After exposure is added, you will go a frame before your shake starts. Click the stopwatch for exposure. Go to the frame where your shake starts. Turn this up to 1.54 go a frame after and then reset it back you also want to drag exposure above the other layers now you can also play with this i'm going to play with it to make the flash last a little bit longer as you can see here i drag the frames out a little bit you're going to select the you're going to select those keyframes as well and easy ease them and the last thing I would do is select these keyframes, copy them, go to where the shake ends, go a frame before, and then just paste those keyframes. And then that way that smoothly comes out. And just like that, you have this super easy, super sick flash transition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye.